Welcome to Chiang Mai Province. Today we are in Chiang Mai Town viewing a property by Nine Morokot Real Estate, Chiang Mai. This luxury four bedroom, a five bathroom Japanese inspired house with pool is located south of the city, not far from Chiang Mai Airport. Okay, time to take a closer look. Introducing the Koji residence. Now this spacious carport enough for two vehicles leads you onto a Zen inspired entrance sporting a sprouting tree and an impressive wooden deck walkway that leads you into this spacious family home. Wow, it's fantastic lights and the old Japanese style window up there. I'm not sure what's up there, but we'll take a look. Oh, here we go, look at that. Got the tree and uh, yeah, very peaceful, even with the tile cutters going next door. Just off that entrance there, we've got this fantastic futon that encompasses the whole window area. So you can sit and peruse your wonderful house. Fantastic. Yes, the Japanese inspired minimalistic theme and neutral color tones run through the entire house, even down to these wonderful wooden ceiling fans in the living area. Now the 65 inch TV complements and doesn't look oversized. So after watching your favorite James Abroad video, you can head out to the pool terrace and take a dip in this inviting eight by four and a half meter pool. And then we brought into the, the dining room. Look at this fit for a king and it's a smart house so you can control everything from this panel and the air con and I love this huge window that kind of engulfs the room and uh, and the dining table is stunning I love these chairs and there are air cons central air cons so you get a nice cool breeze as you're having your your dinner and then you're hit with the kitchen which uh, has a little sitting area when you have your breakfast. Beautiful granite tops. Yeah, even the blinds fit the aesthetic. So, yeah, I could definitely cook some uh, pack of pow in here. Plenty of storage space, I presume. We've got good brand name cooking appliances. And this tile feels really good lovely on the feet it's, it's obviously a, a pretty pricey tile and uh, that's the view from the kitchen now completing the ground floor and just off from the kitchen we have the first of four bedrooms continuing the minimalistic neutral tones this four by three meter bedroom looks out onto the pool and zen style back garden uh, fantastic for elderly relatives or those unwanted guests now adjacent to that we have the wonderful guest toilet convenient non-slip tiles for those wine induced evenings complemented by a spacious shower cubicle with glass partition and top spec shower head now as you uh, stop to admire your wonderful home uh, you enter a must-have storage room for appliances and cleaning products this is also where the brains of the house and electric box is situated and even room for the mother-in-law right let's check the outside Side. Right, so coming out of the kitchen, you have this terrace. Now the, the washing machines are here. I'm not sure they've just loaded them here, but uh, I'd use that small room inside the house myself. Uh, this looks like a water filter system. You've got an outside kitchen here as well. You have to excuse the noise next door. So that's the terrace as you come out of the kitchen and everything is Japanese inspired. You've got your bamboo, look at this garden absolutely spotless so sitting area and uh, that's the lower bedroom on the on the ground floor and this is your pool I'll get out here before it starts raining and it looks very very nice look at that now you are close to the airport but <laughs> Anyway, but yes, very good if you're, if you're into traveling and all that sort of stuff. So look at that. Even with the tile cutters and drills, this place is stunning. A beautiful crystal blue water. I right. don't know if it's uh, chlorine or salt, but you've got a, a shower for after you've had your swim. And this must be the, uh, oh, we've got an outside loo. 
to get changed. And this is the view from the back of the house. So everything's been thought of. That must be the, the pump system for the, for the pool, which is very inviting. I'm not sure if I can jump in there. I might get chucked out, but anyway. Yeah, you can walk around your Zen garden. You have uh, water filter tanks, giant looking pump, and overall a stunning property. Let's take a look upstairs. You've got these little lights that guide the way and little features like this. And you can see down into the living room and a uh, huge window. There's the pool and your Japanese style garden. Oh, what have we got up here? If further downstairs is anything to go by, it's gonna be pretty cool. Yes, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Bedroom two and three, both similar affairs, uh, good size rooms, plenty of ceiling height, and those wonderful curved wood wardrobes, and uh, a fantastic high-spec toilet into bedroom three. Uh, yeah, bed nestles between the two windows, plenty of plug sockets, and the main difference here is the lovely view of the pool and the Zen garden. Same high quality wardrobes and high spec toilets. Right, now off to the final room in the house, the master bedroom. There we go, we're greeted by a little dressing table to do your makeup. And that's the window we saw at the entrance coming in. It must overlook the entrance area, but what a beautiful space. Oh, you've got this kind of futon seating, Japanese style seating around the perimeter of the bed and a little step up to this very Japanese inspired bed area. Uh -huh. And this overlooks the pool. You could almost open the windows and dive out, but yeah, you might have to watch yourself. Oh, wow, look at this. And the, the air con is built into the house, as I said, and the lighting is spot on. So yeah, I like this sofa, it's really cozy, isn't it? This is the, the window that looks down onto the entrance area. So sitting down on your sofa, you've got a, a great big living area, dressing area, dressing table, and your master bedroom, suite. Right, the ensuite is, do we have a bath? We have a bath, look at that. You can fit two or three of you in there. And the view, that's the tree as you come in, I believe. And uh, yeah, I do, look, these tiles are great. They've got a, a non-slip texture, but look really, really good quality. And that's your ensuite for the master. So probably the nicest master uh, I've seen. And, uh, let me know if you agree down in the comments below. All right. So there we go, what a fantastic property. So if you're in the market for like a pool villa, luxury pool villa right near the airport. Now saying that, it's near the airport, but I've heard one plane go over. I've been here about 40 minutes. So it's not overly noisy at all. But if you're into traveling, you want to get away, it's a stone throw away and uh, stunning. So come and have a look at it. I'll leave the details down below and it's well worth checking out. Yes, as you can see, the project is still under construction and the house we actually viewed has been sold. And with all the furniture, all the trimmings, everything you saw there, it was coming in at about $310,000. Uh, but there are other plots available and uh, even cheaper than that, without pools, uh, you can pick up a property there for $230,000. So if you are interested, your best bet is to contact Maracot. And uh, they are a fantastic company. They speak good English. So I'll leave all their contact details, Facebook, Line, uh, their website, uh, so you can get in touch. As for why I'm in Chiang Mai, well, I will be looking at some other properties. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I was actually in a cave before this viewing, hence my sweaty, rather unkept appearance. But I will be doing uh, a lot more videos from this area and other hotspots around Thailand. So yes, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, on that note, I'll say stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.